Alright, hey guys, Mighty Gazelle here, back with more Let's Play Samurai Jack Battle Through Time. Last we left off, we def we completed uh, Cave of the Ancient and Undead Cemetery, and we got a small tease as to Aku City. Um, we saw the Imikandi Warriors, which is really, really cool. One of the best episodes of the original series, a really, really uh, great one. And yeah, let's just dive on in. I uh, can't wait to see everything that Aku tries to throw at us. For anyone who doesn't remember, the Imikandi warriors uh, are from a different world, and Aku like brought them to his world or Jack's world. I guess I guess you can call it Earth, because um, it is Earth, Earth, um, to hunt down Jack because uh, they were the most renowned like hunters in the galaxy, something along those lines. And uh, we'll go ahead and rewatch this in case anyone didn't see the very very end of the last episode, which that episode was an hour and a half, so I don't blame you if you didn't. I love, I just, I still love the, uh, advertisements with Aku in the backgrounds and stuff. I really hope they include the, um, you gotta hear the Imikandi Warriors. I really hope they include the one where Samurai, or not Samurai Jack, Aku's eating like a sandwich. And it's like a sandwich advertisement. I remember that being a really funny one. And that, this is probably like episode... Like, two, I think, of season one. Not not the Imikandi Warriors, but uh, the advertisement that I'm referring to. Alright, I'm just gonna keep running, because I can only assume they're... Oh, no, they're... They're not chasing me, okay. Good to know. Let me go ahead and turn the volume up for myself here. Here we go. Some cool music right now. Actually, I'll turn it down a little bit once more. There we go. Was a little bit loud for myself. Okay, right off the bat, we get some more beetle drones. Nothing too crazy. As I proceed to cut me up. But yeah, like... I'm constantly impressed with the environment. Um, I remember everything, like the way the water looks, to the, like the, sh the lighting, and like, look at the distance. I love, I love that look. I don't know. Take these guys out. If I can just keep dodging their fire like this, shouldn't be too bad. Boom. I'm just a beast. What can I say? Go ahead and break that. The bow seems to be like required for so many of those uh, commons. So it's definitely good to always have a bow on hand. So I'm definitely going to try to keep the ones I have fresh. I'll definitely need to repair the one that I've been using because I think I used that in the last part of that witch boss fight back in the graveyard. Sure didn't miss anything. Yeah, we're good to go. Okay, well, I think the best way to get rid of these guys is to dodge them. Uh, if, it's, if it's only one at a time, I can block it, but... Wait, okay, why do I have the regular arrow equipped? I'm actually, I'm pretty sure I have some other range stuff to use. I have a bunch of uh, throwing knives. Let's go ahead and use that. Might as well use those up. I have like, I'm sitting on almost 50 of them. Might as well. I'm assuming this water's deep if they have platforms right here. So it's not actually going there. Oh, maybe not. Okay, no. It's not deep. It was, it was odd that they had platforms in the other room then, is all. Okay, knock it off. Get out of my face. Uh, 
Oh, here they are. Samurai Jack. You have been chosen as prey for our sacred hunt. A tradition that has lasted eons. I will not be your prey again. You have no choice. This is our way of life. For we are in a candy. <laughs> and then just leave Jack alone. Um, for anyone who doesn't remember or who didn't see the original episode, the Imakandi are so fearsome, they actually beat Jack. They get the better of him. Um, but then they kind of come to it like a disagreement with Aku at the end, I believe. Uh, it's kind of a little bit hazy on it, but I'm pretty sure they like capture him, and then uh, Aku wants him, and then they said no, he belongs to the Imakandi, and then they like. Jack manages to slip away, if I'm not mistaken. I think that's how it goes. Be careful, old boy. Nice, got a crystal. Thank you, Rothschild. Always appreciated. But yeah, um, Imikandi, definitely very cool. I'm sure we'll get a boss fight with them. I'm sure they'll be the very end. Maybe not. I, I was wrong about the graveyard, kind of, I guess. Oh, hey, if you hit them, if you hit them soon enough, they don't blow up. That's kind of difficult, though. Okay, those enemies are definitely the dumbest in the game. Like, there's not many dumb enemies in this game, but those ones are just... Kamikaze, uh, like, enemies in general in games are just, like... I don't know. Kind of annoying. Alright. Uh, I'm digging the music here. I'm getting some... Uh, the vibes I'm getting from this music... Honestly, like, no one's gonna get this reference, but if anyone ever played Donald Duck going quackers on, uh, N64 or even GameCube- Why did I jump down? Gosh, I- I, I saw the commo in the last second. Uh, well, I mean, good thing I'll be replaying this game anyway. But, uh, yeah, I'll figure I can get that. Um, yeah, Donald Duck going quackers, the- the music in that game is very much, like, kind of, like, the beat, like, dun -na 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 -na. Like, just kind of subtle, and, uh, definitely kind of getting that vibe from this level, which is really, really cool. But again, that's just this game kind of being an old school feeling game already. I guess I could try to steal this guy's club. Uh, hold on. Let's use up this axe first. I'm still holding on to it. I'll use this till it breaks and then, uh. I'm sure I can unequip this and just get my fist back, but, uh... Actually, no, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Let's go... to the fists and put that back here. Oh, Imikandi! Hey, whoa! Oh, whoa, okay, alright. Well, he's already trying to capture me. Alright. Well, once again, throwing projectiles are the way to go here. Is that cheap? Yeah, probably. Oh, another one! Okay! Uh, I have to keep fighting these guys until I... Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and use my sword. Wow, he's actually kicking my butt here. <laughs> okay, well... The game's gonna give me throwing weapons, I'm gonna use them. Sorry, Makandi. If they make me fight... I'm about to say, if they make me fight, make me fight three of those guys, I'm definitely gonna lose. Unless I cheese them with the knives again. Better be watching out, Lavi. Spiked club, nice. Um, yeah, it'd be kind of cool to fight alongside the Scotsman if we get like a mission like that, and he's not just like an NPC. But if not, it's fine. Happy to have him along for the venture in any way, shape, or form. I'm trying to look behind me, but I can't seem to do that. So there's probably no hidden stuff in there. I wonder if I can get behind here, though. Oh, the Samurai! I'm gonna want to repair my, uh... Bow that I have? 200? That's better than buying a new one. Uh, I have plenty of arrows. <laughs> I have over 100 arrows, so I'm good there. Uh, I'll repair my gun, because why not? Uh, 
should be good on that. Training. I have 20,000. I could do more training for my sword. What does he have for sale? Uh, this is like the most worthless thing. Why would you rather have this over increased damage or defense? Unless you can get an ability later where you can have more than one of these equipped at a time. That might be the case. Uh, pistol. I don't have this gun yet. Um, machine gun. That could be kind of nice. Yeah, let's go ahead and... Uh, I don't know. Should I do that or should I do the training? Upgrade weapon to boost quick, strong, and high attack power. Okay, yeah, I'm definitely going to do this. Because the attack power sounds pretty nice. Not going to lie. Uh, 40,000 for the next one. That's, that's quite a bit. Um... I have 99 shurikens. I'm going to sell this stack of 11. Oh, okay. Good. I can sell by quantity. <laughs> if I had to sell this one by one, that would suck. Um, plenty of jewels. I'm going to keep those because those can be used to upgrade. Yeah, all these. Yeah. yeah. Thank you to Samurai. Okay, let me go ahead and check my skills real quick. See if I can upgrade anything. I have plenty of, uh... What's the blue one called? Bushido? No, skill... Those are just skill points. Um, Bushido is the green one. Uh, so... Increase health after dying and returning to life. That could be kind of good. You know, you know what? Let's do that. Just to give myself a little handicap. Because I... Kind of suck in some fights. <clears throat> Increase aiming speed with the bow. That could be pretty good. Uh, I don't want, want the grab one. Increase in damage inflicted throwing weapons. That could be pretty good. I don't have enough jewels though. Desert Oasis jewels. Let's go. Let's go check combat skills. Fist combo, spear combo, counter attack. Add this expert sword combo. That's a pretty good combo. I kind of want that. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I don't want to like. I don't want to buy some of these though. I don't like do counters that much. Let's go ahead and check uh, the last tree. Spiritual. Bow and arrow strikes, yeah. Let's go ahead and do that one. Moderate increased amount of uh, fire or skill fire drop from defeated enemies. That can be pretty good, honestly. Might do that. Because I think in the long run that'd probably help us. Increase oh wow, that is really good. Increased Kiai attack capacity to two. I'm definitely gonna save up for that. That seems very, very good. Yeah, I'm definitely going to save up my Bushido points for that. I still have plenty more skill points to use, so... Uh, we'll just wait for now, I guess. There's no huge need at the moment. Alright, thanks to Samurai. I'm sure we'll see you again before too long. Yeah, so this, this is a pretty cool level. This is definitely, this definitely does bring me back. Um, if anyone ever played like the original like Battle for Bikini Bottom and like games like that, it kind of reminds me of that. Where it's like kind of linear, but like stylized world. Like obviously that game's like Bikini Bottom, much different. But um, yeah, I grew up on that PS2 GameCube era, so a lot of this stuff is very, very cool to me. Nice. Good old slow mo. Uh, I like to go the way that they don't want you to go, so. Took 
those guys out. Draw on that sweet XP. Um, guess I go this way. Yeah, there's a chest right there. Again, different themed chest for this world. Pretty cool. Warhammer. We've tried that out, I believe. Pretty slow, but still pretty cool. Alright, looks like we got a lot of enemies here. Let's get to it. Some of these, uh, like, these guys look, like, way different. Like, in terms of their guns and the way their fur is. Like, that guy's a tiger up there. Some of them are lions. I don't know what this guy is, like a puma. All I know is their range is very annoying. Definitely gonna try to take him out as soon as I can. See if I can't. I can't even get up half the time. Grab these. This guy's got a missile launcher. Can I take him out? Nope. He can't be he shouldn't be able to fire that quick. Come on, I can't even like move. Whichever. So far, the range enemies are definitely the most annoying in this game, for sure. I mean, I guess you're supposed to use your range weapons to quickly take them out. I should probably do that better in the future. So that's on me. Learning how I go. Learning as I go, I should say. Um. Will I be able to go over there if I keep going ahead this way? Because if not, I might want to try to jump, uh... Okay, so yeah, we do go that way. Nice. Piercing arrow, cool. Those proved to be very, very good. There's room full of barrels, I'll take all this. Now when it says, when I upgrade my stuff and there's like a uh, increased drop rate for enemies, does that include boxes too? Probably not, I guess. Oh, look at that! Bunch of Easter eggs! You got the archers, you got the jump good people. I wish I could zoom in on that. I kinda can't, okay. Uh, white ape tribe, red gorilla tribe. Jump good, yeah. Acting course, feelings, emotions. Presented by Mako, the Mako Center for Extremely Awesome. Uh, I'm missing that says actors. Acting, okay, wow, that's, that's cool. <laughs> I love how they put a Maka reference in there. I don't know what that's a reference to. Is that Powerpuff Girls, maybe? Green, pink, and uh, blue? Um, the stinking hole, cheap food, cheap drinks, cheap people. We have fans. <laughs> oh, look, there's a bunch of people from the show, too. Gordo the Gruesome, the Equalizer. Oh, dude, I remember. Okay, so that episode was when Jack got thrown into the pit and he had to fight a bunch of those special people. Uh, he fought the Equalizer, he fought the Sumo guy, he fought the Gruesome. I don't remember Torto, I kinda remember Maotis. Yeah, if, you, if anyone remembers that episode, that was pretty cool. It's a pretty cool one. And I think Ganesh is one of the Demongo uh, souls that he captured. Maybe a couple other ones are too. Wow, that's cool. The Smackback, Saturday, 10 p.m., Dome of Doom. Nice, I love those, that's cool. Bunch of little references there. Revolver. Very cool. That's a- that, oh, is there more? Okay, it's just more of the same. Okay, that's still really cool though. Glad I caught that. Okay, so more of the same. Hopefully they include more uh, as we go of those. Uh, how many of those knives do I have left? I have my machine gun. Wait, did I not buy the machine gun itself? Dang it. Oh, that's right, because I spent all my money on the training for the sword. Okay. All the same, though, I got plenty of uh, bows to use, though. So, that's good. How many healing objects do I have? I have none. I probably should have bought some. I was not thinking clearly. But, thankfully, I have a bunch of those healing stations around. Oh, there we go. We got uh Bushido thing down there. Let me go ahead and change to my 
A bow. No, not piercing arrows. Sweet. Very cool. Let's take the bow off. No need to waste that. I guess I can use shurikens too, so let's put those shurikens on. Okay, whoa. Oh, what the heck? The ninja? From Jack or Samurai vs. Ninja? I think this is season three? I think. The Shinobi of Darkness. That's that's so random, but hey, I'll take that. And I, I'm, I'm guessing he doesn't have his own like specific episode or uh, level game, so he's not. He doesn't seem to be that difficult. Maybe it's because my sword's so upgraded. Oh, that takedown! Shadow meets light. Challenge begin. Okay, I'm guessing that guy will reappear uh, a lot as we go. That's really cool, though. I love that. I'm fine with that being like kind of like a recurring kind of enemy. Uh, let's go ahead and check over here real quick. This game's so awesome. Uh, let's see if I'm not forgetting anything. Did I go up here? Yeah, that's where I came from. Okay. Just making sure. Just making sure. Oh, there's... Some Bushido points up there. Uh, not Bushido, but uh. Can I reach that? Okay, I can reach that from right here. Alright. Keep on keeping on. And here's. This is the thing we got in the trailer. We saw Jack running up these uh. The future! Where my evil is law! You guys hear that? I, I wish I could have seen what the poster was. Gosh dang it. Turn to the past. I'm sure it was over there. Yeah, it's probably on that screen over there. That's cool though. I definitely heard it. Okay, we got some enemies. Some new enemies. I don't know what these green ones are. It looks like they're spitting some stuff out. Let's deal with them. The slide guard move is definitely one of the better moves, for sure. You want to equip, I think. Oh my gosh. Those guys don't do a lot of damage, but they're just annoying. Take those guys out as quick as I can. Oh, we got a bunch more. Oh, we got a giant one. I like how that used to be a boss, this person. Now it's just a, like a regular enemy we're fighting. Aku's definitely up in his game here a little bit. Yeah, let's go ahead and use it. Took them out. I assume we go there next. So let's just kind of do a little search in these alleyways. Treasure chest. Haggis, baby. Okay, it's good to have the healing item on us. This kind of reminds me of, like, the rave music. Not the rave music, but, um... Like, I think in Season 1, when Jack goes into that bar looking for, like, water or something. Um, hold on. Before I go up there... Can I go back here? I can. Okay. Hopefully this is not where I'm supposed to go next, because... Ooh. Whoa, okay. Let's 
a lot of good stuff back here, I guess. <laughs> I'll take it. I don't think this is a reference to anything that I know of, like this blue tree. Feel free to let me know in the comments if it is, but I don't... This does seem very special, though. Okay, cool. Uh, keep an eye out for any more of the... Uh, Orb things. I don't really see anything. And yeah, we should be good to go. Onward and upward. Or is it the opposite? Upward and onward? No. I don't know. Some coins. Nice, got more crystals. Oh, the samurai. I was like, what is this character at the back of the train? Let's talk to our buddy. Okay. Um I didn't buy this gun before, and I can't afford it right now. Um. Hmm. I don't want to sell anything for it either. How much are these worth? These are worth. These are worth two thousand. These must be pretty good then. Slow yet powerful. I uh, don't really need them if they're slow. How much is the attack power of my sword? So these are four, minus three. So they're a little more powerful, but I, I can go ahead and sell, I'll sell one of these. Just so I can buy the machine gun. Cause I do want to try out the machine gun. Then I'll buy some uh, ammo. As much as I can. Cool, thank you to Samurai. I'm now dirt poor, but that's fine. We have plenty of stuff to work with. That's cool, showing them tracking us. <laughs> oh, they're right behind us. I guess cool. Thank you. Um, let's see. Do I want to try to upgrade my skills now? I think I've gotten plenty of those. Uh, not plenty, but more of those. Okay, so I don't have enough uh, bushido for that yet. So let's go. Let's see if there's anything I can buy without bushido. Probably not. Oh, okay. So there's some stuff. Okay, I don't want that. Okay, I, might as, I guess I might as well um, unlock this, I guess. Hammer combo, spear combo. I don't want to use any Bushido points right now, so I'm going to hold on to that. Uh, should be fine. So, counter and triangle. If I'm able to counter them. Oh, more in the, in the Kandi. See if I can... Yeah! Okay, well, I did it. Whoa, and the ninja? Okay, you guys are playing dirty now. Yeah, took out the Imaconda guy. You guys thought you could take me two on one. Joke's on you. I'm Samurai Jack, baby. That is kind of a cool combo, though. I never thought I would ever see that. The, <laughs> the ninja and the Imaconda guy. Oh my gosh, Josephine? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Why do I listen to you? He's gotta be in the city. <laughs> that poster is just about as close as we're ever gonna get to finding the samurai. This is this is awesome. <laughs> I wonder I divorced you. 
Dude, this is great. They're just like hanging out in the bar with all these other like hunters. I wonder if they only got her voice back, because he didn't seem to talk much. That's still cool though. Well, and they just missed their chance to fight me. <laughs> um. Yes! Oh, that's old school, dude. I love that. Alright. Can I, can I, yeah, breathe? Thank you. Yeah, you know what? There's plenty of people in here. Let's just take them out. That's so cool though, Josephine, and uh, what's the other guy's uh, name, like Clench? I can't remember his name. Uh, but yeah, that's freaking awesome. If anyone remembers, they were, uh, they were the couple that Jack fought on the train, and uh, they were like a divorced couple, but they were like, and they were not on really good terms with each other, but they both happened to be hunting Jack, and then they like reunite. It's just, it was interesting. I don't know. Oh great, now I'm fighting these guys too. A little bit beat up, uh, so hopefully this goes okay. It's not a good start. Stay back! I have my many shurikens. Oh, they're surrounding me. Take this weak one out. Okay, I took one out. Take another one out. Okay, I'm gonna eat some haggis. Good old haggis. Come on now. Okay, I should be able to handle these two with as much health. Oh, I blocked that. Okay, one left. Is there any healing stations in here? Probably is. Hold on. You know what? Let's use the machine gun. <laughs> I used all my ammo on him, but I took him out. Unless this is machine gun ammo right here. Handgun bullets. No. Okay. Well, all the same. This room was uh, very much entertaining. Let's see what some of these signs are. Uh, I'm sure they're all the same. <laughs> I love the, I love that uh, moniker, like the wanted and, and sometimes with hat. And then they added... Because th that was the poster that they used to have in like season one through four. Like that that was a, like a really funny poster in that. And now it's in season fives of now. They added on to it or with the beard. <laughs> it's just... That's just... Oh, I love that subtle touch. It's great. Funko Chop. That's a uh, Samurai's catchphrase. Let's see if there's anything else in here. I love- I'm loving these, like, little easter eggs. It's pretty great. Pretty awesome. Go ahead and check up here, too. Okay. Oh, and that's a season five, uh, fish. That's the fish that chases Jack and Ashi when they're inside the beast. That's cool. Yeah, I'm getting- I'm getting these references, baby. Keep bringing them to me, Gendy. Keep putting them in the game. Gold. Uh, let's see. So, again, all the same posters. Very, very cool. All the same. Okay. 
and they're still on pursuit, just like the show. You can escape them as many times as you want, but... <laughs> Jack's like, hurry up, elevator! <laughs> yeah, they, they were very taxing on him in the show, too. Like I said, they're relentless. Jack actually got his butt handed to him. And this is actually where it ends. It ends on this rooftop. They, I, whoa, they recreated the rooftop scene. Alright, well. If I can get to this, I have only none left. I'm just not be surrounded, I guess, is my, what I'm trying to say. That'd be kind of nice. Alright, so now they're not surrounding me. Oh, no, 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 no. All right, well, they, they took my health down to zero, so... Wait, they got me? They actually got me. How did I not get out of that that rope? I get my health reach zero, but... I don't... Oh, that sucks. Hopefully I can restart from right there. I don't see why I wouldn't start from right there. Maybe on a harder difficulty you wouldn't start from right there, but I'm on, like, the normal, normal one. Uh, okay, so we're right here, I guess. Not that far behind. <clears throat> Only bad part is you gotta re-break all these barrels, but... That's not a huge deal. Yeah, these guys are definitely tough customers, for sure. Alright, let's try this again. This is so infuriating, come on! And this hurts you so much? This is ridiculous. Come on. Alright, I'm at the cheesies, guys. Yeah, the ranged projectiles are kind of broken against certain characters. But, I mean, if they get a given to me and I'm it's either this or I die, I'm going to use them. <laughs> Of course there's one behind here. That's like, my mind just like works that way. Like, of course there'd be one behind that. Uh, do I have any haggis? I don't think I have any ha Oh, I do have some haggis. Uh, something tells me though I don't need to use this because maybe the level... I think that might be in the end right there. Unless I fight, uh, something else here. Look at the city in the background though. That's freaking awesome. Okay, well, do I have to fight him again? Like for a 12th time? I guess that's very much like the show. Oh, Aku's about to appear. You have Never mind. Samurai, and earned the right to be free after leading us on such a noble hunt. You have the respect of Imetani. Hmm. Oh, Josephine doesn't have that same respect, though. That's awesome. Oh, it's so cool. <laughs> it's so cool. Oh, they did get his voice. Nice. So her name's Josephine Clunch, I think, and I can't remember the guy's name. Oh, we're on the train now. For whatever reason, I can't remember his name. Hopefully they say it. Oh, we're on the train, like, just like that, though. Like, that's a... Like, I was just saying that, like, this episode is when they're fighting the, uh, those two on the train. Great one. 
I'm not sure what season that is. Maybe three. It might be season three. Okay, let's take out these beetle bots. Still kind of holding out hope that we get a Tale of X9 level. That would that would put this game over the top in my eyes. Um, but I can see why they wouldn't. Like maybe because Jack's only in that episode for literally like one frame, technically speaking. Um, and it's not even like about him. So it'd be kind of weird if we just fought X9. But at the same time, it'd be really cool if we got some like. Like, he, he finally found Lulu, and like, I don't know. Maybe that would like ruin the point of that episode though, because I think the point of that episode is that it's supposed to be sad, because this is everything that happens. So maybe, I don't know. <laughs> Look at that poster on the side, that's cool. This game's just cool. It's just cool, man. Imagine if they did th these kind of games for all of our childhood favorite like games, like Codename Kids Next Door. They had like a Powerpuff Girl game. Like these, those, those are serious. Oh, fighting! Ooh, take that! I love, I love his design of his gauntlets. How he's got like the uh, the, the spades, the heart, all that stuff. Very, very cool. How much, how effective is the throwing projectiles against me? Ooh, I blocked it. I countered. Okay, let's try that again. Okay. The, the timing to do it perfectly to get the actual counter is pretty difficult. And, uh, this guy's definitely kind of a tank. Oh, he's down. At least I can block it, right? Um, countering him for the question. Okay, so took him out for this time. I'm sure we'll fight him again with, with Josephine. But that is so cool that they got the voice actors back. I'm glad they're, uh, they're still doing okay and uh, able to come back and voice and all that. Very cool. Always these ranged characters. It sucks because like when you're fighting them, like the ones in the back, the, the ones you're fighting can just keep shooting at you. Look at that, like like this guy. Oh, I reflected it. See ya. Oh, whoa. Oh, it's Josephine's turn. Okay. She's got her umbrella. Nice. <laughs> I think it also has like a chain on it and a bunch of other stuff. Like. Oh, it's so cool. This is such a cool game. This is so cool. She definitely has less health than uh, her partner, which makes sense, because she's more of the tank. She's more of the agile one. Whoa! This is, this is so cool. Alright, well, she's gone. She was way easier than uh, the guy. Oh, speaking of the guy, he's back again. Back for more. Oh, it's, okay. I was to say, I'm pretty sure that would come back down and hit me. Oh, look at that block. I literally blocked lightning with my, uh... Ooh. This fights are, these fights are kind of cool. They seem pretty well balanced. Okay, so those land a lot of places, not just the two. Okay, he's, he's doing a good job of uh, countering that out. Let's see if I can use another weapon here. What do I go? Oh, let's try this. Let's try the... Hmm. The Warhammer, maybe? Well, no. I don't, the damage won't be enough. Bamboo definitely won't do enough damage. I could try the Fist. No. Let's try grappling him. Okay, well, that does not block that lightning. It's good to know. Knock him down. He's 
almost down. Hopefully he runs away like he does last time when he's on low health. Okay, yep. Alright, hopefully there's a health thing somewhere. Yep, right here, baby. Slide attacks definitely where the money's at here. Can I not grab this guy? He's probably too too beefy. Ooh, whoa, okay. Noted, he's got a giant laser. Try jumping over him more, maybe that'll be a little more efficient. Come back down here. Oh, not like that though. Okay. You chipmunk. You call me a chipmunk? I really am trying to grab him, but I don't think he's going to do that. Nope. Yeah, I think I think he's just trying to grab a wolf. Oh, he's running away. More health. I'm glad they give me health after every of the fights. That's good. We found this guy a bunch of times. We're, oh, about to say, where's Josephine? He's right there. Now it's a two on one. Might have to use my. Yep. Look at Josephine, she's like glitching out over there. <laughs> Try to take this guy out first, he's gonna be the, the more annoying one I think. Just cause he's hell. Josephine going to protect him. I have them both backed up to a corner though, that's pretty impressive. She's doing her best to protect him right here. Take that, come on! Took him out, alright. She's going like a rage mode here. Ooh, I might have to use my haggis in here a little bit. Someone remind me. <laughs> Ooh, ow, ow, okay. Well, we're doing the haggis. I think I still have it, right? No, I I ate it. I must have eaten it. That's not good. Oh, she's down. Oh no! I was so close. Uh, she gets the better of that exchange. Hopefully it puts me right back at the end there. It's going to really suck if I have to redo all those fights. If that if that is the case and I have to redo all those, I'm definitely going to cut the footage to when I get back to the main fight because there's no reason to make you guys rewatch that. There she is. Okay, so, all right. This is both of them. Let's go ahead and take him out just like the first time. Despite her range and mobility, I still think that this guy's the tougher target. Might as well use my stuff to take him out while I can. Oh, I countered him. All right. Is there a health thing maybe over here? Nope. All right. All right, I think I'm gonna just block her attacks. Okay, that's not good. All right, I still have my 
when I die attack, or my it gives me some health. I don't want to have to rely on that. Oh, well there, I used it. Josephine is pretty tough though. Maybe I should have gone for her first. I don't know. I don't know if I don't know if the guy has that ability that she does. Or she can like go in rage mode. I don't know. Oh. I'm the fool. Okay. Damn it! Oh, so close! Alright, well, I'm gonna cut to when uh, I beat these two. Even if it's just the next fight, because this is a pretty long fight, and no reason to make you guys watch this over and over. Okay, I actually might leave this in after all because, wow. That was insanely effective. I can't believe I got them both pinned in the corner like that. Okay, I think her rage mode activates because I took out her, her partner. And that I still might lose because ridiculousness. Nope, I won. Okay, well, that was such an effective... Use of my old. This ain't over yet, Samurai. Mark my words. Destroy the bracelet. You too. You wouldn't let a lady fall. Oh, okay. So they're still gonna be back then. If, uh, she still has that on. I knew you would mess this up. <laughs> <laughs> and they're fighting gators, nice. <laughs> That's great. I was gonna cut out that third attempt of the fight, but uh, that was so effective with what I did that just I'll leave it in. Oh, there we go. They spit up the uh... I doubt those two died from the gators though, they're tough. Nice. Come on, Jack. No! Damn, Aku. Every time. Can't let this man be happy. Planes, a uh, pains, trains, and Imakondi. That's a great name for a trophy. All right. On to the next one. That was a fun chapter. Imakondi, the ninjas. Josephine and her partner. I, I, I'm, I got next time off camera after this episode. I'm gonna look up the name of uh, the other guy. I can't remember. It's like, uh, why can't I remember his name? Anyway, Ashi. Ashi. where am I? So close. Poor little samurai. <laughs> a 
thought you found a way out. No more. There will be no escape. Great. Ever. Aku. Ah! Oh shit. Season 5 hype. Dude. Yes. Oh my god. Are we about to fight Scaramouche? Dude. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like a did oh a number on you, my babe. gosh, yes. What a shot, too. Scowl on that grill. Tough stuff, but no bluff, daddy -o. Oh, he it's looks great. It you. You. Yodelay he who, baby. It's Aku's number one assassin. <laughs> the Piper of Pain. The ambassador of annihilation. The crooner of carnage. Scaramouche the Merciless. Yeah, and baby. I got a special tune just for you, Jackie, baby. Beat it, 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 beat it. <laughs> yes, this is good In stuff. Huh? I will waste no more time. Where is Aku? Patience, baby, patience. This is only the second act, and we're just getting started. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Him and his magical flute. Oh, we get the rugged looking Jack. Yeah, dude. Oh, this is great. Ooh, you got the main and the front scrub to boot. I dig it, babe. <clears throat> I don't know if that little shield's gonna cover you, but... Oh, man, well, it did. This is such I a beautiful level already. Aku's got a whole new bag and he's ready to unleash it! Be seeing you, Jackie. Jazz scats. Dude, I I'm so happy right now. This is so cool. I am ready, Aku. So I'm gonna assume I don't have my sword anymore right now. Oh I do. Okay, cool. Wow, look how beautiful this the stage is. The leaves falling and the autumn lookingness to it. Oh, dude in the ruins? Oh, this is so cool. Yeah, so I do have my sword. Okay. So unlike season 5, I, I do have my sword. That's good. Because if I had to start worrying about stuff that could break, kind of like Jack has to worry about... Oh, that would suck. Okay. Probably nothing back there, so that we can keep searching forward. Alright. Screw you, range guys. Okay, oh, the Scotsman. Nice. In his prime, no less. Got some gold. Better be watching out, laddie. Okay, so looks like we'll be fighting his golem, his rock creature. It's probably the, it's probably gonna be the boss for this uh, this chapter. There's a well down there. Uh, is it really as simple as it's destroying these? It is. So that's where we need to go, but let's go down this well. Yep, and there's a collectible. Okay. Shurikens won't work. Let's use the... Nope. Should have hit, but there we go. Oh yeah, we'll drop down there in a second. Let me just uh, cause so I definitely have enough bushido to buy that one thing now. Yes, okay. That is gonna be super worth it. Uh, increase the in damage inflicted when using the sword. Oh yes. 
Yeah, another thing that's definitely going to be worth it. Um, items dropped. Yeah, I guess that could be good. Kind of neglecting our combat skills, though. Hammer combo, spear, samurai fist. These all cost so much Bushido, though. And all the sword combos are down there. Oh, there's a, there's a sword combo right there too, I guess. All right, I'll, I see. I have so much. I have so much skill points to use, but not enough uh, Bushido. So it kind of sucks, but we're making progress. Whoa! Whoa! Okay, a lot of enemies in here. All right. Dude, now that we're in season five content, uh, I can't wait to. Versus the Daughters of Aku. That, that stuff's gonna be awesome, man. Dude, I hope we get to see the wolf again. The, uh, the kind of like spirit wolf. Like, the may or may not be real that, like, Jack saw. I'm sure it's a real wolf. I think they actually, he actually was there. It wasn't like a hallucination. But all the same. Nice. Close up a beard of Jack. I dig it. Let's draw all the statues, because obviously it's gonna make a chest appear. Why else would they be here? Yep. <clears throat> crystal, cool. It's good to have those crystals. All right. I wonder if there's going to be any, like, Season 5 specific enemies. I'm trying to think what else there was that Jack fought. Uh, there's the... There's the Torturer guy that tortured Ashi. I wonder if we'll fight that guy. Um... Kind of think, but Jack didn't really fight that many different, uh, enemies that he didn't already kind of fight... ...in the other seasons. Other than, obviously, the Daughters of Aku. Um... I am excited to see how they handle the finale stuff, though. Okay, so there's two of the crystals down. Pretty straightforward puzzle here. Another one up there. Same right for the heart. If I can get there. Boom. What's next? A lightning spear. Oh, that's the... Wow. That's cool. That's the weapon that Jack uses at the beginning. And, like, uh... Episode 1 of Season 5, when he takes out that whole army. Nice. Let's try that out, actually. I mean, I I don't want to use it now, actually. I'll wait for enemies, because I don't know if destroying these objects takes the... De uh, takes the... takes a, de a degradation toll on uh, the weapon. I'm not going to chance it. How am I missing one? I thought I got all of them. I'm still missing the red one. Oh. Okay, so that's where we probably want to go, but d back downstairs there was that one that... Huh. So let's go back down. Oh. Guess I didn't destroy this one. Oh, I actually had to, I had to go back down here anyway, because this is where the... Wait, what? There's like... Multiple of them? That makes no sense. Alright. There's nothing in here. Oh, there's a... Oh, like, now there is. Okay. <laughs> well, good thing I looked around. Forget what I was saying. Machine gun, cool. I have two of those now. Hopefully there's some ammo, because I was pretty low on ammo. No, but there's gold. Let's get two. It's a weird, uh, weird room. Rooms, plural, I guess. That guy spawned in, he's like, I'm ready to fight, and he just gets knocked out. Oh, he 
want to play that game, huh? All right. I love the how just like I like to think that not this, the daughter that we're seeing of the Scotsman isn't the same one every time. It's just one of his fifty that he has. Even though clearly, uh, it's only been a few different models I think of the daughters so far. Some haggis, sweet. Uh, I don't think I missed anything in here, right? No, okay. Alright, so we have... Stairs. Hold up. Oh yeah, I saw that out the corner of my eye. Definitely not gonna miss that. I wonder if I can jump up there. No. Bushido, nice. Bushido's definitely kind of the most valuable that I've noticed so far. It's definitely the slowest acquired. Like, I I'm sitting on so many skill points right now. Oh, Demongo! I love how we have Demongo and Scaramouche in the same level. Ooh, reversing uh, more of the undead. Interesting. I mean, I guess it makes sense because uh, remember Jack hallucinated that he saw like those kind of zombie children. I guess they weren't zombie children. They were like quote unquote dead or like malnourished children or something. I don't know. Wait, what are you gonna call them? I see that in the distance. I see that. Come on. I'll be sniping that in a second as soon as this fight's over. I'll take out the mongoose thing now. Hold up. I'm gonna get that. Bushido. It's only five, but... Alright, Demongo, where's your little orb? Let's take that out. There we go. Okay, so it's whenever you take out, like, an enemy, it appears. That makes sense. Yeah, so it kind of appears wherever you do that. That's good to know. Alright, let's take the Mongo out. He's probably gonna run away once he gets a low health. I do think I can win, Demongo. We've been through this dance plenty of times, yep. We will meet again, Samurai! <laughs> and how much did he drop? 300 Bushido! Well, thank you, Demongo. I'll, f I'll kick your ass as many times as it takes if you keep dropping those big numbers of Bushido. Samurai, just chilling. Alright, let's see. A club, I don't really want the club. It doesn't really have much that I want in terms of this stuff. I could probably buy some Haggis. Buy two haggis. And I'll buy a guardian potion, why not? Potion of power could be pretty good too. Yeah, let's do that. Let's just buy some buffs. Can't afford any training outside of the club, but I don't really care about the club. Um let's repair my bow. It's pretty cheap to do so. I can repair my machine gun. Even though I don't have much ammo for it. Should be good. Hold on, before I go in there. Heal. Also, I have two of my ults ready to use. My Kiai. Let's go ahead and use one. Oh yeah. You can definitely feel the upgrades on your sword when you do your Kiai attack. Definitely lasts longer. Be able to kill more enemies. See, these guys are dropping handgun bullets. I want machine gun bullets. I think this might be machine gun bullets right here. No, oh, it's handgun. These ones must, must be machine gun. Yeah. Please let me grab the bullets. There we go, it's only 10, but all the same. 
All right. Oh wait, no! I forgot to grab that that Kamon I said I would. I, I promised to get after beating Scaramouche. Not Scaramouche. Uh, Demongo. Gosh dang it! I probably can't jump back out of here, can I? Maybe I'll be able to hit it from elsewhere. Probably not though. Oh, I can almost get out of there. Yeah, I can't. That sucks. I wonder if I'll be able to hit it again, though. There's a chance I might be able to. Depending on where, uh... Where it was. Because it was over there, around the bend. Like, kind of... Where those buildings were. Uh, I'll try. I'll try later. See if we can find it. Doesn't look like we're going in an opportune direction, though. Whoa! There was definitely... Oh, there was another level of stuff right there, too. Well, I'm missing all these secrets right now. I guess, cool. Appreciate it. Anything back here? Nope. It's definitely shaping up to be one of my longer episodes. I'm sure this might be close to two hours. If I had to guess. Not ideal, but... Yeah, I don't think I'll be able to get that Kimon. My own fault. It's dumb range people. All right, you're getting sniped in the head for sure. I love the ruins. Oh, silver bow, high quality bow made of pure silver. is as strong as it is beautiful. That's a great description. Um, I'm looking in the sky to see if I can find that Kimon again, but it does not look likely. Oh, it would be over here, wouldn't it? Because if we fought Demongo up there, it was off, kind of... Yeah, gosh dang it. Maybe in the future. I know that Kimon's like bothering me way more than it should, but it's my own fault. Let's drop down here. Probably a bonus area. Oh, well, I guess they came down to me. Ha! Look at that gator. Uh, can I jump good up there? Nope. Alright, this is going to be a little tricky to get to. Can I double jump off this? Nope. Is there like a third jump that I'm missing? Here, hold on. Let me destroy that little wooden thing. I can't even do that. Oh wait, no, you can't you're not supposed to get over there. You're supposed to just shoot it. I see you, game. Nice. Clever. Crystal, nice. I guess I could try to shoot that guy carrying it too. We'll try it. I don't think it's gonna do anything though. That is kind of sad. He just like slumps over. All right, well. All right. Oh. You know what, if, I'm, if, I, if I keep stacking these, I might as well use them occasionally. Just for fights, you know. Maximizes the output of uh, how often you get it and whatnot. Nice. Alright. Grab that Bushito. Bushito. 
Now, if I'm going to be able to shoot that thing again, it's going to be... Actually, it might, we might have a chance, because it kind of was in this direction. Unless the game doesn't let you do that, but we kind of poop. I kind of want to use my machine gun here, but I don't have that many bullets. If I had more bullets, I would just light it, like, lit all these guys up. That'd be kind of cool. I see Rothschild back here. I'm going to talk to him. Uh, let's make sure I grab all the remnants of the fight. Hi, Rothschild. Thanks for the crystal. Yeah, so I was fighting Demongo up there. And I looked over to my left, and it was like floating out there. It might be behind this pillar. That big giant lighthouse pillar up ahead. Alright. Let's see. Nope. I think the game only makes it visible when you're, uh... Better be watching out, laddie. Golem is strong. He's the guardian bashing him. That's what I'd do. Bashim. Okay. Or bash him. <laughs> Isn't it amazing? <laughs> Axe. Okay. I don't want to keep talking to you, though. Sorry. I'm trying to do my thing here. Yeah, it would have been, like... Right up there. I don't seem to see it though anymore. That sucks. Oh well, notes for next time. Scaramouche, we meet again. This is stuff they showed in uh in the trailer. So I kinda expected to see this fight coming in eventually. But all the same, uh, let's go ahead and use that weapon he gave us. Although technically our sword is probably going to be more effective. How much damage does this do? Three? Oh, we'll try it out. I mean, what can it hurt? I guess, I guess it could cost us our lives. But, well. Ah, uh, interesting. How many, how many explosive errors do I have? The curiosity. I don't have any left. I have the piercing one, though. Alright, well, this thing is... Not gonna lie. Kinda slow. Might switch back to my sword. Okay, hold on now. Calm down, you big dumb rock. Okay, well... I might use one of my things here. This thing is so strong. And by this thing, I mean my, my ability. Not even a... I'm gonna use a haggis. A couple haggises. I can probably beat him again right now. This is going to be the end of the level, or close to it, I might as well, right? Although I probably should have saved one for Scared Moosh if I do fight him right after. I mean, canonically, I do fight him right after, so I probably should have saved this. Golem to Gravel. Okay. Yeah, I'm probably going to be fighting Scared Moosh next, so I probably should have saved that. But hopefully I'll get another one in time. <clears throat> Cool, I got five of those Reaper things. Nice. Those green ones now. Oh, it's the cats. It's the green, uh, the cats from the season five, like those the watermelon ones or whatever. Watermelon cats. That's so cool. That's, you can literally, like, reskin those guys any sort of pattern you want. It'd be like a Samurai Jack reference. It's kind of cool. Cool. Clearly, I'm going to have to 
shoot my bow directly at him. I mean, I did hit him the first time, but... Sniped! Alright. Yeah, this is definitely going to be a long video. I apologize in advance. Haggis! Very cool. I, need, I want that Bushido. Samurai up here. Oh, Scary Moosh is here. Okay. Watch out for that stuff. <laughs> I love how he appeared just to throw rocks at us. Very cool. I guarantee there's some sort of secret up on that cliff up there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to climb up there. Yeah, I'll try to get up there after I do all this stuff. Potion of power, nice. I did just buy one of those, but I'll always take another one. Um, should be good on Haggis's. Increased weapon durability, that's interesting. A battle rifle. Fully automatic machine gun from the future. Has high attack power, but low durability. Interesting. Kind of want to buy some arrows. Explosive arrows. Yeah, I'll buy three. Uh, training. Can't really afford much training right now. Repair. I guess I'll repair my bow. Oh, it didn't even get hurt. How'd my bow not get hurt? I was using it. Weird. Um, is there any bullets for sale? Yeah, machine gun bullets. There we go. These are so expensive, but you know what? I'll keep building it up over time. One day we'll break it out. Just beat some enemies with it. Sounds good to me. There's a well right there. Before I do that, though, I kind of want to go up here. Hold on, can I just jump directly to this? Half the time this jump good thing like doesn't activate. Kind of sucks. Yeah, you can't even jump on that wall. Clearly though, they want you to jump up these though. But they they make you slide off, so I think you can't like stay on them. Come on, that should have been close enough to grab that. Oh well, ain't worth my time. Drop down here. These walls are kind of cool. Nice little challenges. <clears throat> A lot of Bushido right here. Okay. Watch out for the fire, of course. Really? Screw that, I ain't playing your game. I'm gonna... Come on, I'm dying from fire here. These little fire spouts. Alright, well. I would eat some haggis, but I'm pretty sure I can just heal myself up here somewhere. There's bound to be a healing thing over here. Somewhere. Moosh, do your worst. I'll just hide. Okay. Oh, more dark ninjas. Nice. Shinobis of the dark, I should say. I'm gonna eat some haggis so I don't die from these punks.
knock one down. <laughs> I love it just popping in with an, a quick arrow. <clears throat> Demongo once again. Try to end this guy quick. Come on, keep sending your minions. They're they're pathetic. Give this giant guy. Your essence is mine. I'm destroying barrels in the middle of this fight, but... Yep. Same threshold every time before he runs away. It's good to know. Should be able to cut this door open, yeah. Okay, so I'm guessing all these rooms are gonna have a. Uh... Yeah, let's go ahead and use it. These beetle bots are a little tougher than the regular ones, so that as well. I'm always reminded of that, like pet commercial where it's like, there ain't no bugs on me. There ain't no bugs on me. There may be bugs on some of your mugs, but there ain't no bugs on me. Hope I don't get copyrighted for that. <laughs> but, uh... Is there like a a triple jump ability or something that I'm missing in this game? Because it seems like a lot of this stuff there seems to be like an air dash, maybe? Although, like, technically, Jack never had an air dash ability, but maybe I'm just supposed to do it like this. Before I go to that one, let me check what's up here. Oh, wow. That's awesome. I'm glad I just fell. Oh, I see that kimono there, so I'm gonna go ahead and shoot that before I leave. I'll remember this one for sure. Can I not shoot through that? Really? Let's try this again. Clearly through the middle of the bars. Nope. How odd. Why... Why is this not... I've, I've shot through bars before. Okay, I guess we'll have to come back for that in a different spot, I guess. Okay, grab that. So two of the statues down, two to go. There's also a chance I might split this into like two videos because I don't want like a two hour long video, so to speak. Um, but, I mean, who knows? We'll see how I feel when I'm done recording it. And of course I fall. Alright. Let's go up here. Only one statue left. So this this should lead me to that Kamon. Okay, yeah, it does. Shadow and ninjas. Get tackled. I'm a shinobi of the light. You can't handle me. We're not in your element. 
Although, that'd be kind of cool if we did fight these guys in the dark, like the, the famous episode, where it's all black and white. Oh, it's multiplied. Nice. Some shurikens. Of course, a ninja would drop those. Well, there's even. Okay, here's the statue. All right. Okay, our door is open. I'm assuming that's where we'll fight Scaramouche. I should not have dropped down here. I realize this now. I think I can still go... Yeah, just have to walk all the way around again. I'm getting that Kimon. This one I'm definitely going to get. As well as these coins. I will hit you with an arrow. Yes. <laughs> come here, come on. There you go. Alright, on to Scaramouche. Let me just quickly check this room, even though we don't need to. Okay, fire. Okay, so I definitely have one key I fire ready to use for Scaramouche. That's good. Here, oh, the here, the samurai. There he is. Check it, Jeff. Um, I guess I'll buy some haggis. Uh, some explosive arrows could be good. I'll buy three. Maybe Scaramouche won't like those that much. Kind of want to destroy these barrels and not talk to talk to the samurai. <laughs> they put these barrels way too close to these characters. All right. Yep, this feels very final confrontation-y down here. Here we go. time you showed up I decimated this city hours ago I was worried those minions got you before we could tango a go 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 baby too bad for you I do not dance no be too sure <laughs> I do not dance I don't know Jack we've seen you at the rave let me see what you can do I don't want to fight another golem though that's kind of one thing I'm fearing here I'd rather just fight Scary Moosh. Looks like I am fighting Scary Moosh. So that's good. Ooh, beat those feet, babe. You're a natural. Beat it, three, beat it, do it, do that down. <laughs> All right, here we go, Scary Moosh. I've been looking forward to this fight for sure. I'm gonna try some explosive arrows on him, just to just to kind of see how it is. I'm not gonna. Oh, I have 36. I do not remember getting that many. All right, so decent damage. I'm not gonna cheese Scaramouche like that, though. He deserves a little one-on-one -on -one action, as we all know. All right, take these guys out. Ooh, touche, touche. I love how Tom Kenny voices him. I'm so glad I actually met Tom Kenny once. Shout out to Tom Kenny if you're out there watching this. <laughs> uh, great guy and uh, very, very talented. I also met Phil Lamar at the same, uh, the same convention. It was really sweet. Um, we'll go ahead and eat some, eat some haggis. Um, I'm, also, I'm also gonna use the Guardian Potion and one of our power ones. Hopefully they last long enough for me to uh, use on scary moves. Oh. 
Oh, knocked him down. Nice. It's gonna be bop bop a boom booping you. Come on, Sammy, baby. Looks like my buff wore off. That's fine. Oh, he's he's getting enraged. Let's see if I can hit him. Nope. Okay, no effect. What happened to my uh? Did he take away my ki fire that I had? I definitely had one ready. I don't think I used it, did I? Oh, gosh, Scaramouche. Whittling down a little bit through my remaining, remaining arrows. Oh. I'm going to use uh, another one of my Haggises. And I'm going to equip... Uh, the Silver Bow might be a good, good move here. I can always repair it, right? Yeah, let's go ahead and equip that. Oh, I can't equip it. Wait, what? Hey. Well, I can I really can't change the. It's not letting me change it. There we go. That was a really strange glitch. Uh, we'll throw the piercing arrows on too. Let's see if we can't end this fight. I love Scaramouche. <laughs> He's so cool. Do la be babu, yeah. Oh, he's throwing boulders at us too. Let's be careful here. Oh, he's joining his minions now. All right, Scaramouche. Time for you to go. Ooh. And this one, he just gets straight up decapitated. Is he going to play dead, or...? Oh, <laughs> and that's, this time Jack's all curious, because he doesn't want him to come back later. <laughs> you were hoping for one of our coups pendants? <laughs> nada, babe, nada. Yeah, Ku got rid of those, so I guess there's no reach in that gal pal on the other side now. Huh. You're stuck in here, Daddy-O. So much for your codependent relationship. <laughs> it's finito, baby. Further down the rabbit hole you go. Feedy feel I don't that solo. This, this cannot be. Wooly samurai. <laughs> no. Aku. No! Dang. Okay. Crooned his last tune, babe. Not a great name for a trophy. Uh, so that'll about do it for this episode. Uh, or episodes. I'm not sure if I'm going to split this up yet. It's going to be a very long recording, regardless. Um, so I'm going to back out to the main menu here. Okay, wow. Long recording session for me. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, these last two chapters. They were a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for more. I believe we're probably getting close to the end of the game. This can't be too long of a game, especially if we're already in Season 5 content. So um, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing how the game ends. And uh, until next time, this has been Mighty Gazelle. Hoping you all have a mighty day. See you guys.